If you're a Bitcoin holder in 2022, then no doubt you've had a pretty rough year. With Bitcoin forming lower lows each month and billions of dollars in customer funds being wiped off the market, many are now seeking refuge in DeFi applications, which are prominently available on the Ethereum network. With DeFi applications like staking, lending and borrowing, users can generate passive income on their cryptocurrencies and increase their holdings, which is ultimately a profitable strategy in the long run and a good way to mitigate current losses due to the bear market. The problem is, due to Bitcoin's lack of scalability, there's no way to directly transfer your Bitcoins to the Ethereum chain without selling your Bitcoins and purchasing Ethereum-based tokens. And it just so happens that you are a strong believer in Bitcoin and you're not willing to sell no matter what. So that's a problem. This is where bridges come in. With bridges, Bitcoin holders can receive ERC20 tokens, which have an equivalent value to the amount of Bitcoin transferred to the intermediary. So basically, a Bitcoin holder can send one Bitcoin to the intermediary and receive one Bitcoin's worth of an ERC20 token, which can be used to engage in DeFi applications and gain passive income. Whenever the user is ready, the ERC20 tokens can be returned to the intermediary and the original Bitcoins will be returned and passive income is secured. So, users can preserve their Bitcoin holdings whilst they're earning passive income on platforms only available on the Ethereum chain with bridges. There are quite a number of these bridging tokens, such as WBTC, RENBTC, and more, which are all backed by Bitcoin. Now, this is great, except it violates the very essence of Bitcoin, which is to be a fully decentralized, fully secure cryptocurrency. Traditional bridges use custodians, which act as a central body that issue out these ERC20 tokens. This model of bridging is prone to censorship, where the custodian of these tokens can prevent a user from making transactions or outright freeze the customer assets as well as the potential to even steal customer assets for good. It's also much easier to hack since there's only one single point of centralization, which once breached will lead to a massive theft of customer funds, making it inefficient for use in the long run. At this point, an ingenious solution is born, a bridge network that uses an ERC20 token called TBTC to allow cross-chain bridging between Bitcoin and Ethereum chain. Now on the surface level, TBTC might look like any other bridging token, but TBTC solves the problem faced by every other cross-chain bridge. TBTC is the first non-custodial bridge linking Bitcoin and the Ethereum chain. This means that it removes the need for a custodial authority that holds all the ERC20 tokens, which is exactly what the space needs. But the first version of TBTC had some issues. Firstly, there were only three signers in a set. This posed the threat of the signers conniving together to steal customer assets and run away. However, Threshold Network was able to manage this potential problem by mandating each signer to make a 150% over collateralization on Ethereum, which ultimately made it a useless endeavor to steal the Bitcoins as they would still end up losing more. However, over collateralization was the second problem because it made it really difficult for signers as they had to bring in vast amounts of cryptocurrencies to be able to work as signers. The third and final problem was the high cost of minting. And this is what brings us to TBTC version 2. The new and improved TBTC solved all the problems of the first version while being able to satisfy the demand for non-custodial Bitcoin bridging over to the Ethereum network for DeFi application. TBTC v2 assigns a randomly selected 100 node operators to serve as signers to one Bitcoin wallet. And these signers are reshuffled every week to prevent the possibility of node operators conniving to steal funds. In addition, 
There needs to be a majority vote of 51 out of 100 signers on any motion before any form of action can be taken on customer funds. So the security of TBTC V2 is top notch. And the best part of it all is that the cost of gas fees were greatly reduced. All these new improvements have put TBTC V2 ahead of all the other competition as it is the first of its kind that has come closest to the ideal Bitcoin Ethereum bridging ecosystem that Bitcoin holders desire so much. TBTC V2 is the future of Bitcoin Ethereum token bridging. By combining Keep Network's ability to allow users to privately store and transfer data off-chain and New Cypher's decentralized token encryption and protection layer, TBTC is changing the way Bitcoin bridging is done forever. So, what are you waiting for? Use TBTC V2 today to start earning passive income on your Bitcoins on the Ethereum chain seamlessly.